So my uh, engine oil accumulator was, uh, wasn't working properly. It's the AccuSum from Canton. It wasn't working properly because it was, uh, <clears throat> it was uh, leaking all the air pressure out of it to zero. Uh, within a very short amount of time, um, the problem is when I, when I had oil in it, pressurized with oil, I could leave it a long time, it wouldn't leak. So I figured something was wrong in the front end, uh, maybe a score mark or something like that, or the O-rings were wrong, were bad, and it was leaking. So what I did is I took it out, and I pressurized it to 60 PSI, and I actually uh, dropped the whole front end uh, in water, just to make sure that the gauge and the trader val valve weren't leaking oil, uh, air, and they weren't leaking anything. So, but as I did that, uh, I was outside and I put my ear over the uh, the oil side and I could hear some some hissing so I knew that air was leaking from this side. I know uh, the Akisom uh, Canton uh, tells you you're not supposed to open these. Actually, it's not a big problem at all to open them. Um, what I did is I have a NPT uh, fitting, NPT to AN fitting on one side. And what I used is basically one of the oil filter, the rubber one, like this. So I held it, I held it close to the edge, not too far in, but just around here. And I tried unscrewing the um, the nipple for the NPT to AN fitting, and then the cap started turning, which wasn't really super tight on anyway. Or you could build a, a special keyed wrench here that fits in the hole here to turn it. All you have to do is remove just one side, the uh, the oil side, not the air side. So once you get it off, the piston, which is this one, would be uh, in it. So this would be uh, here, this would be the, uh, the air side, and this is the oil side. As I took it off, uh, you can't take it off because it's inside. So what I did is I just used, uh, I have the Schrader valve that is removed from the tip here. It's it's removed so all I did is just put very low air pressure uh, with this gun on the other side and then the piston just just came right out and uh, when I opened it I saw some scroll score marks on the side here as well as on the inside you can see here a little bit so I just took an emery cloth and then I cleaned up the inside and cleaned up all the sharp edges here there was nothing wrong with the uh, with the o-rings so now I'm just going to coat them with the oil um, and then assemble them and then assemble the cap just like I did. All right, so uh, this is the, uh, the accumulator. It's all, it's all finished. So as you can see here, I just put the cap back on. So put the piston in, just tapped it in place. Make sure to put the oil on the uh, O-rings before you put it in. And then uh, on the outside O-ring, I used, I used some grease, synthetic grease, actually. And I, uh, I put some uh, gear, uh, some engine oil on the threads and I thread it in place. Like I said, just using this, just to hold it here. Uh, so when I wanted to spin the cap, I would move it just slightly over here. And then it, it would start spinning the cap and I spun it while holding a wrench on the nipple. And then after that was done, I wanted to tighten the nipple. Actually, I removed it and put some thread locker in. I just move this, uh, they call it the boa something. I'm not sure. I moved it uh, right in the middle, uh, right straight on the aluminum cap. And then I tightened the nipple in. And then uh, I filled it to 60 PSI and it seems to be holding pressure now. So there was really nothing, nothing to it. A uh, simple 15-20 minute job uh, once you have it out. So I reinstalled the accumulator. I put 60 PSI of pressure on it. And then this is the next morning and it's still showing 60 PSI. So it's all uh, it's all good. I uh, just need to try it out uh, when the engine is running. Make sure everything is good.